High school's football field has hosted hundreds of games over the past 80 years, and tonight the lights dimmed on its last one. And it went out in style, finishing with their first winning season in nearly 20 years on the last play of the game. Brad Underwood is in Cleves now with a look at the final farewell. Hi, Brad. Well, hi, Rob. Yes, uh, exciting game here. 37 to 7, Taylor defeating Indian Hill. And the field itself, almost 80 years old. And tonight there was no shortage of pride in this West Side community. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Under the lights for the final time at the old Taylor High School, the Yellow Jackets made it count. The beats of current and past band members set the tone early. A typical West Side community, everybody's close knit. Alumni from the 80s, 60s, and even the 40s showed up to say goodbye. Oh, it was a lot of fun. We won most time back then, and we had a grand time. Paul Hanlon played football for Taylor from 1949 to 1953 and says he couldn't stay home tonight. My senior year, we won every other game from uh, and won the championship for the county. And uh, we, the first team scored 24 points, and all the rest of the season, nobody scored more than 23. Total. The field was built in 1935. In between the fences, that's a lot of memories. You know, I've heard some great stories of catches being made uh, up in that corner end zone. Darren Steinman remembers his time on that hill like it was yesterday. We used to have a design play. Uh, it was a bootleg pass uh, into the end zone, and you'd run up into the corner, and the quarterback would hit you in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. On their feet, this community showed once again why this place is so special. Now, not too far down the road from the old high school is the new high school. And what they're going to do with some of these uh, memories over the past 80 years, they're taking the goalposts, they're going to put them at the new practice field at the high school, and they're also going to dig up some dirt to make a brand new hill at the new football field. Reporting live at the Old Taylor High School, Brad Underwood, <laughs> Local 12 News. Brad, thanks very much. Over the next month, both the school and the football field will be demolished. Work is expected to start on the field at the new educational campus in the spring. Should be ready in time for the start of the 2014 football season.